Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be setting up some feeder insects for my newest member of the family. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel, you will know that I recently just got a new Pac-Man frog called Pluto. When I first got them, I'd sort of hoped that maybe there was a chance that I could feed them on a non-live diet. Uh, ZooMed have a line of canned insects called like cano crickets, cano pillars, cano worms, stuff like that. I can leave a link in the description if you guys want to check those out. And I did enough research on them and found that they were like healthy, okay for your reptiles or amphibians to eat. But unfortunately, they didn't eat any of that stuff so the only thing that they have eaten in the last two weeks is live crickets so I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm like okay well which one would I rather have them starve or keep crickets mm, definitely keep the crickets right so I ordered a couple of stuff from Amazon watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos on how to do this how to set up crickets I'm not planning on breeding them I mean if they breed by themselves then I guess I've them I don't know I don't know enough about it I don't know did they breed themselves they would oh whatever I don't know but yeah so I have pretty much everything I need there is like a system that I'm going to be doing yes yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me to go pick out the crickets and then I'll come back and I'll do a little tutorial on how you set up feeder insects specifically feeder crickets so yeah enjoy the rest of the video Alright guys, so I'm back from the pet shop. Um, first of all, if you guys can hear that noise. I think there's drilling going on, I don't really know. Um, it's kind of the worst time to film, but I don't really know when else to do it. So hopefully this drilling doesn't completely get in the way of the audio. Like, is that even drilling? I don't even know what that is. I swear they've been drilling next door for like years, I don't even know. What is that? It sounds like bass. So anyway, what I got from the pet shop, I'll just show you what I bought. First of all, I bought brown crickets. They're like the medium silent type. I think that's the kind that I've had before. And there was hardly any left when I got there. So there was basically just like a pile of these, but the one on top was like really small crickets. So I was like, oh no, they only have the small ones. But fortunately underneath that was the size of the medium. So yeah, so I got these, which is good. What I also picked up is a fake plant. It was, it's like fake moss. It's got like that on the bottom, which I think is pretty cool because if you use real moss, they can sort of, like I would like to use real moss at some point. Maybe I'll do like a bioactive enclosure at some point. I, I'm kind of scared about the frog like swallowing the moss because I know that they can't digest it and they swallow like everything that's in front of them. So I just bought the fake one for now, which is okay because I think it's quite cool. I much prefer like the fish ornaments for like decorating a little reptile enclosure the fish stuff is so much better because i have like mini buddhas and mini waterfalls and bridges and like fake plants and like pink and purple plants and stuff which i think is much cooler than like some vines if you know what i mean especially for an amphibian 
So yeah, so I picked that up. So that's what I got from the shop today. The enclosure that I bought for the crickets actually arrived yesterday, um, and it's this. Large cricket pen by Zoomed. So, and this is basically what it looks like. Um, I'll take it apart and show you it properly. So it has the lid on here. This bit opens as well. So it's got a little opening in the top. It's got plenty of ventilation, two handles, so that's the lid. The dimensions of this enclosure is 30 centimeters by 20.5 by 19.5. And then inside has these tubes and it just closes with a flap so when I take it out there's not like a massive hole and there's a thing on the end of this that stops you know the crickets from being able to escape and inside it's like sort of got ridges in it I don't know if you can see that yeah so the crickets climb up in here because it's like a dark like safe space in the enclosure and then what you do is you just pull this out and then like sprinkle the crickets in the in like a cup so you can dust them down so it's got four of those and then as well as that it comes with these two little pots i'm assuming this one is for food and it's got like a little ramp up so the crickets can like walk up this one is for water which is why it has like a sponge in it because crickets can drown if you just have like standing water so that's quite a good idea i'm glad that i bought this brand for that one reason and then the base just looks like this this is just the base Pretty simple for four of these. So the food that I bought for them is something called Bug Grub by Pro Pep Company. Um, it says complete dry diet designed for the breeding and maintenance of live insects. And then it's got a picture of a cricket on the front. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's sort of like, like dusty. The contents are wheat, wheat feed, barley, sunflower extract, peas, soya, beans, calcium carbonate, salt, sodium bicarbonate, yeah just a bunch of stuff. I think it's, I don't really know, it's sort of like flakes. But yeah so they'll have water and this and then I'll also give them like some carrots and some apples and potato and stuff for them to like have actual food as well because when you feed your insects it's called gut loading so it is a really good idea to do this if you're keeping feeder insects because the nutritional value for your animal will be a much higher so like for example feeding like a pac-man frog or like a leopard gecko or a bearded dragon or whatever insects that haven't been fed then their nutritional value will be a lot lower because they haven't got they haven't been able to absorb all the nutrients the healthier the food the healthier the animal basically so um, that's why I'm feeding them this yeah and some fruit and veg as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean everything first I'm probably just gonna be using water to be honest um, yeah, so I'm just going to give this a quick clean. So after I've cleaned everything, what I'm going to do is for substrate, I'm just going to use some paper towel. So I've torn off two sheets of paper towels and I'm just going to place that in now. Just like that, that should be good enough. And then I'm going to place one of the food dishes here and the other water dish. I need to fill that up, I haven't done that yet. Unfortunately, I just washed these. Obviously, they're not gonna be dry. I can't dry them properly, so I have to wait for a while. So I'm just gonna put the crickets in now and just, and then put these in later when they're dry. So I'm just gonna fill up the first food dish with their food. I mean, I've never done this before, so that seems like an all right amount. I'm gonna go fill this up with some water. So the sponge is now nice and wet. Crickets, I feel like they could get moist quite quickly and die. So <laughs> I try to make everything dry apart from the sponge. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then obviously the lid will go on like this, but first of all, I'm just gonna put the crickets in. So here they are.
So there they are. They can jump quite high, but it doesn't look like any of them can actually jump out, which is good. But just in case, I'm going to put the lid on. So this is them. So here are all of the crickets now. Having some food. I've given them all of the egg boxes from the previous lot I got and this lot just so they feel safe and have somewhere to hide and they are really really loving their water right now before there was like there was so many of them they were just like climbing over each other and stuff um I feel quite happy because from the last batch that I bought there was one survivor left and I managed to transfer that one survivor into this enclosure as well so I don't know that's just like a cute little like story <laughs> yeah so that is them um I'm just about to give them some carrots and potato and some apple can you see this guy one of the wings that was the one that was left over from the other batch they're crickets what did you expect? Are they going to jump? They'll jump the really out. Big they can't jump out. Oh, it's the really big one. What are you talking he's about? He's not cricket. Oh, he's different. Oh, he's... Okay, he is the last survivor from the other batch. How mad? There so was only one type left. Of cricket. Oh. No, it's the same. It's just really old and battered. Oh, what, and big? Yeah. So you're going to let him live? So now I'm just going to put these... Um, things in so what I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna put two in seeing as the water is on the other side I'm gonna put the one in here and the crickets at some point will climb up there but they can't get out because it's closed off and then I'm just gonna repeat the same on the other side so yeah the crickets have somewhere else to hide in. So that is the enclosure completely set up. So as you can see, the frog has moved and there is a poo in the way. This is the first poo that they've done since I've had them. So yay, celebration. <laughs> um, so also I added these plants from Amazon. They're about five pounds each. And as you can see, frog has moved from there to there. Yay, fun. And there's just another plant that I got. So this is what the cage looks like right now. I took out the bigger plant. I think it just gave more space and just made more sense with just the little ones. So yeah, that's what the tank looks like right now. Hi, frog. How are you? I have cleaned the poo from Pluto's cage and I'm just gonna put the new plant that I bought in. Let's see if it works. Just gotta bury it in a little bit. Let me readjust it without the camera. So I've just added the moss here. In the future, I'm sort of planning on getting a couple more fake little plants to sort of put around the side. Maybe put like a little pink one here, over here as well. But yeah, I think that looks quite good for now. He blends in extremely well.